Now, I want to show you one other section of the preferences before we move on, and that's time zone support. That is something that you can set up so that you can set a time zone in the calendar. And if you have time zone support turned on, then the times for appointments will change based on the time zone that you are in. And I'll show you that as I move into let's look at a day view. I can change from month to day and I want to go to the 15th so I can see the appointments here. If I change to the west coast of the US, notice what happened. I'm now looking at the time zone for the west coast and this appointment has changed its time. What is happening here, because I've turned on time zone support, the time for the appointment is reflected in the time of the time zone that I'm looking at. So what you can do is schedule appointments in local time and then as you move around change your time zone and you'll see when the appointments are. Now do you want to do this in all cases? Well, no, because in some cases what you want to see is you've made an appointment for 9 o'clock in the morning and it's going to be 9 o'clock in the morning no matter where you are. If you're doing a conference call, for example, you definitely want time zone support because you want to know what time the other person will be waiting for you to call no matter where you are. But that's how you turn it on and off in the advanced preferences for iCal. Some other items are here that are important but the other thing I need to point out to you now is the integration with mail so let's take a look at that I happen to have mail open here and I have received an iCal event invitation Let me rearrange this a little bit so you can see the full text and what this is is an invitation from someone to a meeting scheduled for January 7th. I can click here and lo and behold the meeting has been added to my calendar January 7th. I can see more about the meeting I can see who the attendees are and I can do that simply by clicking on the link inside the notification that was generated by someone else running iCal on another computer. This file format, the .ics format, is a standard calendaring format. So if you make a reservation for a hotel room or for a, an airplane, you may get a confirmatory email that contains a .ics file and you just click in it and it will be added to your iCal. Let's get rid of mail and go back to iCal and see how we do the other side of this scheduling.